Hello guys, Omni here. We've been talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths quite a lot here recently, and it's probably only going to increase from here. Um, <laughs> there's a fan trailer that got made um, that I've seen circulating on Twitter uh, by Ultra Sergeant, uh, and you know, this is something I've been seeing a lot of people praising, talking about, even Mark Guggenheim himself had uh, retweeted their video. So I wanted to check this out and see how it is and give you guys my thoughts on that. You know, you all know how excited I am for this event. You know how much of a huge DC fan I am. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to see some magic. So let's see what they got for us here. This is a five minute long fan made theatrical trailer for Crisis on Infinite Earths. Here we go. And I did, <laughs> talk to them on Twitter and get permission to do this. So here we go. Let's go dive into it. Everything is as it should be. The stage is set. Worlds will live. Worlds. The psycho will pirate. Die. Dude. We'll never be the same. A crisis <laughs> is coming. Yes. The monitor thinks we're facing the collision of realities. I've traveled from my earth to warn you. A crisis is imminent. Someone is coming. Someone far, far more powerful than myself. This is our Earth, Earth One, and these other Earths, two, three, four, five, to in. God, I'm getting chills. <laughs> yes. Somehow. You and Kara changed your destinies, Barry, by being the heroes that you always have been. You're a good man. So are you. I'm not as good as you think I am. But because of you, I think I'll get there someday. <laughs> to appreciating what you have. However long you might have it. I don't want Oliver to go. <laughs> to understand what I'm about to tell you, you need to do something first. You need to believe in the impossible. Can you do that? I got this friend. <laughs> Blows faster than a speeding bullet. He's pretty good at impossible. God, I can't. I really want. You said you needed help. In so many ways. God, this is so good. Where are they? You gotta help me save my world. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Figured you could use a hand. Wait, you're oh. Robin. <laughs> I thought you were Robin. I am. How many Robins are there? No. Uh I came because I had no choice. I uh, to save my own. What did you say? That's you such about? a good edit. Yes, actually. and urban legends cool you don't believe batman's real <laughs> i mean burt ward's gonna be in it the anti-monitor wants to destroy all the earths in the multiverse you can't let that happen we won't man i really wish brilliant lantern was better received this world will be doomed like all the others Earth will be the first planet that he will cover in his darkness. Dude. But eventually everything, all worlds will burn. It's been an honor to know all of you. To 
fight alongside of you. <laughs> yes. Home safe. Oh my God. My father sent me here to protect this planet. And I will fight you to my last breath. All right then. Let's raise some hell. Our powers amplify who we are. And the way you've been using yours. Get Keanu in there as his Constantine. Yes. How would you propose I keep the balance? Hmm. I mean, uh, and th that's what happens in the comics, but I don't think they would do that. What are you doing? Haven't gone real high. I'm listening. Holy crap, man. That was freaking masterful. You know, all that does is just get me hyped even more than I already am for Crisis, man. In my head, this, this, this is Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is what happens. I, you know, oh, uh, hold up. <laughs> I got misty, man. I get emotional to, with stuff like this, man. And that there, there was just so much hype in this. And I know it can never be this big, you know, le legal reasons and licensing and, well, WB's faith in a lot of this stuff. Um, and of course, you know, money, the cost would just be ridiculous but in my head this is crisis on infinite earths um you know Zack snyder wb all of them have said that the tv shows exist in their own multiverse uh with the dceu um because it, it, when the dceu started and we heard that they were casting a flash and all that stuff a lot of people were like well we already have the flash tv show why don't you use grant gustin but one of the official reasons that they at least gave publicly, I mean, it's really money licensing and, you know, a lot of legal things to, that they would have to iron out for that. But the public reason that they gave was that DC is predicated on the multiverse itself and that you can always have multiple versions of it that Ezra Miller's Flash exists while Grant Gustin's Flash also exists in the greater multiverse. Even Ezra Miller was uh, talking about and teasing in a couple of interviews before Justice League that there was always the possibility, thanks to the multiverse, that his Flash could end up meeting Grant Gustin's Flash. Whether or not we, uh, we see them ever actually meet, they... they They've at least acknowledged that in the multiverse that those films are real and part of it. So in my head, even though if they don't see it, for all I know that Henry Cavill, Superman and all of them are fighting Monitor or Anti-Monitor or whatever, or they're just, their Earth just gets obliterated. We already know they're retconning and rebooting that entire continuity. So who knows? <laughs> Maybe maybe this is going to be the secret way they do that rather than Flashpoint since they can't get that movie made. Uh, this this is how they secretly low key reboot their universe is through the television series uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. I love seeing everybody in this. I mean, rest in peace, Christopher Reeves, uh, even though his Superman ca canonically becomes the Brandon Routh Superman because that's in the same timeline. Um, I, I still will st say that the Kingdom Come Superman that Brandon Routh is playing, at least until it's confirmed otherwise, is a separate Superman from the one he actually played in the films. Um, seeing, Lin uh, seeing uh, Linda Carter come back as Wonder Woman would be awesome. Uh, Helen Slater's Supergirl would be sweet. Uh, I mean, we already have... I mean, there is the possibility that Christopher Reeve Superman does end up eventually becoming Kingdom Come Superman, and that's a reference there by having Brandon Routh play it. But I, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think they, like I've talked about this before. I don't think they would do that to Christopher Reeve's legacy for that version of the character because Kingdom Come Superman has a very grim kind of outlook and future 
Uh, so I don't think that they would do that there. I'm pretty sure that's going to be a separate thing. So that aside, like we talked about in our last video, is that they've confirmed that at least for the first time, the theatrical movies are acknowledged in the Arrowverse, not just past TV shows. Because uh, up until this point, it's always been kind of nods and hints and uh, references back to like the 90s Flash show. We've got Burt Ward coming in from the Adam West 66 uh, Batman uh, show. Um, it's pretty much just been TV shows. Uh, Smallville, uh, Birds of Prey, you know, Kevin Conroy and his animated from the Batman animated series. It's all been TV shows, but the we got the first confirmation that a film exists in the inter in the Arrowverse, and I think that greater proves the point that all of the DC films and all of DC universe, all of it does exist within this multiverse. Now they'll never acknowledge it outside of that, but to us fans who just really kind of dive into all of this, we know the truth. We know it's happening out there. Uh, it's just what DC's always been about is that multiverse because they just can't get away from it. Uh, it just keeps coming back. Even after crisis on infinite earths consolidates everything down to a single earth, eventually the multiverse gets reborn again. So, I mean, they just can't stay away from it because it just hampers, uh, the creativity of everything. So it's just, it's so hype to awesome. Like the comic book event itself is convoluted, huge and crazy. They're showing all these different kinds of characters and whatnot. And that's why I love this trailer because it pulled from every source, every live action source that it could find and just blended it all together. So, so well that, even if we don't see half, nearly half of these things in the actual crossover event, there's going to be a lot of these things in here that I that I'm going to be telling myself are happening behind the scenes, behind the camera. You know, somewhere else in a part of the multiverse we're not seeing that this stuff is happening, and I I just love it. I love DC. I love these characters. I the the TV shows have been doing them justice with some really great writing. Pacing's questionable as far as the length of the seasons does kind of hurt some of the stories, but the story arcs themselves, the characters, the the growth, the attachment, just the way these characters are written and brought in to life without being ashamed of their comic book roots is just one of the reasons I really love just the CW Arrowverse and, you know, pretty much all of these live action shows. Uh, and the films I do like, don't get me wrong. I love the DCEU. I feel like there's, they've definitely had some missteps, but I still, there's not any of the movies that I just straight hate or anything like that. I, I think there's a lot of them that are good. I think there's some that are underrated and I do admit there's some that just definitely should, could have been better. Um, not to go into any specifics because I don't want to have that conversation. Not right now, at least. Um, I, I just. It's just crazy that we're getting something this big, even though it's on the small screen, it still feels massive. And again, this being the send off for Arrow, that's the show that really got me hooked. I watched Smallville for a long time, not like religiously. I never like kept up with it completely. Um, like I said before, I've seen season one, season two, and season 10. Um, and then just a a, a a lot of sporadic episodes throughout uh, filling in the story arcs, but Arrow, it was, I think, on its second season, second or third season, when I got kind of coerced by a buddy of mine uh, who's obsessed with Smallville, got me to actually commit to watching that, and I just fell in love with it. This, that was the first one I was like, I have to watch every episode of that, and I, I started the first couple episodes of it, and I ended up binging it all in, like, three days the first season, and... I've just been following all of these since I've caught up on all of the shows at this point. I'm working on black lightning right now. I'm almost finished with season one. Um, I've still got season two to catch up on and then see what they're doing currently in season three. Um, but yeah, I caught up on Supergirl. I've caught up. Uh, I'm well, I'm keeping up with Batwoman, which actually is not nearly as bad as uh, the trailers made it out to be. And lot some people are saying it is I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, but Arrow, Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, all that, I'm up to date. I watched Birds of Prey, for, and that was a fun, that was actually a really fun watch, but I, I just, I love DC. 
I'm I'm not like a Marvel versus DC kind of guy. I I think I just love comic books. I love superheroes. I love the MCU. I actually like Spider-Man is one of my big two. It's really Batman and Spider-Man are my two biggest superheroes that I just love and I just try to support everything they do. Uh, show up in and whatnot and uh, you know the x-men and it really the mcu versions of a lot of the superheroes from the marvel comics are my favorite versions of those characters um but with the 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 way things have been with dc it's just like i think the closest thing we're getting to the comics is what is happening in the cw shows and it's just like seeing it really grow into what it is and mature into what it is right now is just, it's just such an amazing thing as a DC fan. And I just love it to death. And I can't wait to see what else they do with this. Kudos to Ultra Sergeant. Go check this out for yourselves. I'm going to have a link to this in your, uh, in the description to this video and all of that links to his uh, Twitter account as well as uh, Instagram. We'll put that down there as well. Go check it out. Follow the, uh, give them, give them a follow, give them a shout out, give them a view, a like, all of that. Check out their videos, support it, and thank you guys for watching this. I really appreciate anybody hanging out here today, and I want to know your thoughts on this, your trail, this trailer, the crossover event itself, DC as a whole, your favorite superheroes. Just sound it off. Let's celebrate our love for the comic book world and superheroes in general. In the comments, carry on the conversation after this video. And if you guys like this video, make sure to support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you didn't like it, let me know what you didn't like. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.